Welcome to a presentation using Sage 100 Contractor Service and Billing and Dispatch to create a work order template. Here are the steps involved. Start with a blank work order. Some of the fields for the work order, like the work order number or the work order date, are set to pre-fill. You want to erase these. Fill in the other fields that you want to pre-fill when you use this template. Save the template with an appropriate name. Start your work order by loading the appropriate template. This works the same in several other spots in the program, like POs and subcontracts. Use these to save a lot of work. So, here's our blank work order. So we're going to begin the process by taking out the work order number, taking out the invoice number, taking out the date. We want to choose the appropriate type. I'm going to choose HVAC. I want the appropriate description. In this case, I want an emergency service call. Go down here and I need to start with a client. I'll erase that in a second so that I can fill in the rest of this grid. So, quantity one, price 125. Comes up with the right account. I'll put in my work order. Emergency service for HVAC. Let's say that that's pretty typical. And then once that's all done, I simply go up here and I say save as a template. And it comes up and it says, what do you want to call it? I want to call it the emergency service call. Now let's abbreviate emergency because we don't have that many characters and save it. So as we start the work order process we would simply start with a new screen. We would open and load a template, the emergency service call, Choose the appropriate customer. Notice how everything is filled out for us. Pretty easy. Again, this works in several other spots. If you have standard purchase orders or standard subcontracts or what have you, you can use this technique on those screens as well.